Welcome to the third part, guys. In third part, I'm going to write the code for displaying the user that their either their answer is correct or incorrect. So for this, here insert here btn check dot set on click listening event new. First of all, we are going to read the database content. So for this, db is equal to open helper dot hit database readable, and then we are going to write the query and it that query in the variable check is equal to select. We are going to read the. this one from which database table this table column table compare table what is the compare table this one and then order by ID limit one. We are going to order by ID in descending order and then limit one. What this query gonna tell to our database? I already told you. Then cursor is equal to db dot react raw query and then we're gonna pass this query and then null and then if cursor is not equal to null and again if cursor dot get count is greater than zero Cursor dot move to next and then we also get on variable that is to the index of the column cursor dot create string cursor dot get column index and the column index is value value is the column of our compare table so we are going to exit that table and we are going to display the message to start backtest get application context your Submitted SVBMI TTD submitter as WR answer is we're going to display the value. And then toast dot length long and then so else. Toast dot backtest get application context error. Toast dot length long dot so. So that's it. I'm going to run this. So click this one, click submit, enter is submitted successfully and the submitted value is this one and then click check. Your submitted answer is incorrect. If you click this, the message, the answer is uh, this one and the click this, your submitted answer is correct. So that's it guys in this tutorial and again, 
Uh, if you want to create the quiz application, uh, you can you can add uh, the another activity and then you can uh, uh, place the another button over here and then uh, you can call this button as the next button and you can connect this activity with the uh, new activity by using the uh, intent uh, which I show you in the login and registration form. So in this way you can uh, create your own quiz application and again uh, if you want to uh, make the if you want to make easy for the user uh, you can write this section of code I mean this section of code inside this button and when the user click the submit button button uh, you can display the uh, submitted answer like this one submitted answer and also you can uh, display the message and your uh, answer is incorrect so that's it uh, uh, in this quiz uh, tutorial guys if you like this video uh, share this video with your friends so that they can know about this tutorial and give thumbs up which really motivates us to create such programming video so thank you once again for watching this video have a good day bye bye